Masks are a joke, folks. Masks are a joke. We've been over this. I know Matthew McConaughey may think that he's a hero in saving the world, just like someone in the military that's taking a bullet, but I'm sorry, Matthew, wearing the mask does not make you a hero. In fact, it kind of makes you question how intelligent you are. You only have to look at the box where most of us buy the mask, and it says this. This product is an ear, ear loop mask. This product is not respiratory is not a respirator and will not provide any protection against COVID-19 or other viruses or contaminants. If that's what the mask is saying, can you imagine all these people that are tying like underwear around their face and, and scarves? What is that going to do for you? And when I think about it, let's be honest, for people that work on viruses in labs and are actually going to come in contact with one, they have to wear this, hazmat suits, absolutely sealed. They got to wash themselves down in the shower before they walk out. Do you think if masks works, wouldn't they prefer to wear that in a virus lab? Come on, folks, use your minds. But in case you just don't think that those are the points, or the fact that, you know, we've got Russell Blaylock put out a great article last week saying it's reducing the amount of oxygen you get in your blood. We have someone, my, my, um, one of the people that works here, Jennifer, her grandmother's in an old folks home right now, and she is wearing a mask everywhere she goes. She's in that risk group, and she is currently lowering her blood oxygen level, what happens to be the biggest danger of COVID-19 itself. Is she just jump-starting that problem? Could be. But look, if you still believe in masks and say, Dell, you don't know what you're talking about, and Matthew McConaughey says there's no science that says it's a bad idea, I guess they all think we can erase what happens in a video camera. Let me explain this. When a video camera is rolling on you and things come out of your mouth, they are there forever. You can't take them back, okay? So in case you ever have a video camera rolling, you may not want to say things like this. Well, with the scare of the coronavirus, many people have been running to the store to buy face masks similar to this one to protect themselves. Medical masks like this one cannot protect against the new coronavirus when used alone. Right now in the United States, people should not be walking around with masks. There's no reason to be walking around with a mask. When you're in the middle of an outbreak, wearing a mask might make people feel a little bit better and it might even block a, a droplet, but it's not providing the perfect protection that people think that it is. And often there are unintended consequences. People keep fiddling with the mask and they keep touching their face. Masks are really not necessary and they may actually be unhelpful. But don't get a false sense of security that that mask is protecting you exclusively from getting infected because there are other ways that you can get infected. WHO only recommends the use of masks in specific cases. And if you're not sick, you shouldn't be wearing a medical mask, but if you are, then you should. The people who are sick, wear a mask. We recommend that people who are around someone who's COVID positive wear a mask, but do not recommend that the general public wears masks as a protective mechanism. If you do not have these symptoms, you do not have to wear masks because there is no evidence that they protect people who are not sick. You can find plenty of video of me saying exactly those things, and I'm proud of every moment I spent in front of a video camera saying it. Unfortunately for Fauci on the 60 Minutes, what do you do now? They all knew that was the truth. You're running around as a part of a charade now, thinking that there's something important you're doing to protect yourself. And for those people that are driving around like this, in your car, wearing a mask, I mean, come on. What do you think you're doing? What about the ton of steel and glass that's wrapped around you while you're in your car is not making you feel like you're protected. What is that little piece of fabric going to do for you? I'll tell you what it's going to do. It's going to make you a number one contender for the Darwin Award.